Hi, and welcome to Chigong Lion Over Nine. This afternoon we're going to do, well it's actually this afternoon, I think it's in the morning in some places in the world, so welcome and welcome to join me today. We're going to do, the, uh, last week I talked about doing the opening and closing exercise, which is an exercise system I do at the start of any system I do. So we already started last week with the Bhagwan Jin and we did the first exercise. But I'm going to go back a step and then go back to the, the opening and closing exercises, as I say, which are like preparation exercises before you actually start doing the Qigong and it sets your body and lines your body up, it sets the, um, it opens up your lungs and also clears out your energy center so that you can um, be, be all prepared for the training. So when you're doing the, the Qigong exercise, the energy can move around your channels and move up and down the channels and connect yourself in a lot easier and a lot smoother way of doing that. And so these exercises are like a warm up before you go for a run and warm down. You do them at the start of the exercises and you also do them at the completion of the exercises as well. So we'll start with the first one. It's called, the first one's called the quiescent standing form. I love that name, quiescent. And it's about a posture, about standing in a posture where your body's got no stress on all the joints and the whole body's lined up. So when you start training, the energy moves really just like I said before. So first, the first part, we'll start with our feet. We'll start from our feet and go to the head in a logical way. So with our feet, we have the feet pace facing directly towards the front and parallel. And the distance between the two feet is about the width of one of your own feet. And you can see that and put the foot down and then step to the side, yeah? And so the width of your own foot and that's in the facing front to the front. Put all the weight on the front part of your foot. And so you know where the pad is underneath your foot, there's a, there's a point, a, it's a kidney point, kidney one. And it's called Yong Chuan, and it sits straight underneath that. And, oh, and hello Tom, I just noticed that Tom's, Tom, a very, very close friend of mine, has just joined this, the show, so welcome Tom. There's a point underneath the pad, and it's called Yong Chuan, it's where the energy of the ground comes up through the ground, and it meets and it enters the body, and they believe that that's where you earth yourself as a physical body. Yep. So we're standing on that point, the, the weight's on the heels, but there's no weight in there, the heels are just touching the ground, and so you're standing on your muscles, and to do that, you just bend your knees slightly. You bend your knees and stand over the front part of your feet, yeah? With your heels just slightly touching the ground. Your toes are, are not grabbing the ground, but they're just sort of resting, because all the acupuncture channels finish at the tips of all the toes, so you, you've got them all connected to the ground, plus the kidney point underneath the foot, yeah? So now we start, that's our, our stance just to stand on our feet. In your mind, think of your ankles and relax your ankles, yeah? Then go from the ankles, Go to the, the knees, and then think in your mind, think of your knees and relax. Then bring your knees together, and then bring your knees apart. Yeah? And then rest with your knees above your toes. So the idea is like sitting on a little horse. Yeah? Tom, you'd know this well. You sit, sit on a horse, and so you, you don't want your knees together, so you sort of have your knees above your toes. And if you do a wider stance, then you put your knees out even further. Yeah? But we're just doing a single horse stance today, and that's where we're going to sit in that posture. Yeah. Then think of your mind, think of your knees, relax your knees. Think of your hips, relax your hips. And tuck your pelvis. Now, tucking your pelvis is like having a bum stick in it. You bring your bum forward and then sit down on it, yeah? It's really important to tuck your sacrum in and you can keep your back nice and straight, yeah? So we tuck our pelvis and then rest. The next part we do is we, well, we relax the pelvic floor muscles. And how we do that is that the Chinese that's call it puckering your anus. So you squeeze your anus together and then you relax, yeah? I won't know whether you're doing this or not, but that's what you do. You pull it together and then relax, yep. The next thing you do is you, you squeeze your genitals and then relax, and it takes all the tension out of that area of your body, yeah? From our lower tummy, you pull your tummy in and you breathe out and go <sighs> Relax your breath, relax your tummy, and then breathe in. Good, now how that happens is when you push your tummy in, it pushes your diaphragm up, so <sighs> pushes your diaphragm up and pushes and squeezes all the lungs and all the air out of the, out of the lungs. And then as, a, as you breathe in, you, you let your tummy muscles relax and as you breathe in, the, the diaphragm comes back down again. So breathe out, breathe in and let it relax. Cool, and the second exercise, we do a little bit more about the lungs as well. Good, so then from there. From now we're gonna do our spinal column. Now it's like having a string on the top of your, very, very top of your head and you pull it up and you feel like you're stretching it and you breathe in and you breathe out and just let it relax. Now one of the most important things you do this is when we're doing this is when we're 
stretching up from the top of our head, yeah, when we stretch up from the top of our head, is that when we lower ourselves down, we don't sit down and put our bum back out. So we don't sit down and go like that. So we actually lower ourselves down and we keep our, our back straight and it comes down straight, perfect. So we're back in our stance again, yeah? Cool. Next thing we're going to do is our back and our, and our chest. So we're going to, with our elbows, we're going to bring our elbows forward, which stretches your back. And so you want to feel the stretch across your back and then you bring your elbows back and stretch your chest. And feel the, feel the stretch through the chest area, and then relax. We'll do that again, eh? We'll go forward, stretch your back. But you've been sitting on computers today, and stretch back, stretch your chest. It's good. And then relax. Very good. Now, with your shoulders, you're gonna bring your shoulders forward, and it's gonna stretch your scapula, those are those two bones at the back, like the wing bones in your back, you stretch that. And you stretch back, and you stretch, stretch your clavicles, these, these two bones, the shoulder bones up here, and you stretch those back the other way. We'll do that again. So come forward, scapula, stretching around, and then stretch back. Very good. And then we bring our arms to the sides. Now, it's like having an egg under the arms. They, they, they used to teach it with the idea, and they used to make them stand with the eggs under their arms so they get the feeling of what that's like. But you can just imagine what that's like. And this, it, what it does is stop your arms being like close to your body. You need a, a gap on your arm so that's hollowed underneath your arm. They call it hollowing your armpits. Yep. And so standing there like that, then you think in your mind, you think of your shoulders, relax your shoulders. Relax, relax your elbows, relax your wrists. And then think of your hands, just relaxing your hands, just have your hands hanging down. So now we've got our back nice and straight, our pelvis is tucked under, our legs are relaxed, our arms are relaxed. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull our chin slightly back. Now, so sometimes when we have it, we sit like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull our chin back and rest. And we tuck our pelvis underneath and get nice and straight, yeah? We do that, so you pull it back. Not, don't pull it back too far so it's straining. Just pull it back so that you feel it goes this way. Don't pull it down, it goes backwards. Yeah, which is quite a different thing. Cool. With your tongue, you put it on the roof of your mouth. Yeah? And it connects the renmai and the dumai. The, the dumai finishes it just on the top lip, and the renmai finishes just underneath it. And the two points either side of your anus, ren my one and, and do my one, and they travel up, one, one comes up the back and the other one comes up the front, they meet at these two points and by putting your tongue on the roof of your mouth you connect these two points. And how you connected the other two points is when you, when you squeeze your anus and relax, it connects the two points at the bottom. So now we have this, this flow of energy through the do my and the ren my channel going through our body, which is important when we're doing qigong. Next thing we do is we think about our, our teeth, we relax our teeth. Now that's interesting, relax your teeth. Relax your, so you just, it's more about your jaw, you're relaxing your jaw, so your teeth are just hanging. Have your lips touching, just slightly touching and relax. And then with your eyes you look, but you don't actually look at anything, you just sort of gaze. And you're probably, if you're watching a video, you will need to watch the video, but normally you just look out and just, and just look, at to no, look at nothing as such. Yeah, cool, and then last thing again, back to a head string again, and sort of hang on a head string, so we just feel like we've been suspended and we're just sort of relaxed hanging there, yeah? So now our whole body's all lined up, and our back's nice and straight, Now our arms, backs, everything's nice and relaxed, everything's been moved and it's stretched. Now we can do the next part, which is the second exercise, which is the exhaling, inhaling form. And this exercise is designed to move stagnant chi out of your lungs. So quite often I'll, I'll do this training in the mornings, and I've been lying in bed all night sleeping, and, and you build up, um, what the Chinese call perverse chi inside your lungs. It's like stagnant energy. And so this exercise, what it does is, is, is vent the stagnant energy out of the body and out, especially out of the lungs, because Qigong practice is all about breathing exercises and moving the, the energy from the breath in and out of our body. What's well, part of it. And so it's important that we do this. So this exercise is about that clearing out the perverse chi and just opening up the lungs before we start training. Yeah? So how we do that, we start with our hands facing towards the ground. So we were left off with a quiescent standing form. And you're gonna bring your hands around and put on your dantian, yeah? Now, dantian, put a, get a finger, put it in your tummy button, get three fingers, stick them under your tummy button, and then another finger underneath those three fingers, yeah? And that's the front door of your dantian, and you have a back door. This is called Guan Yuan, there's a point here. So this is the front door, and it's your physical center. So you're gonna put your hands over the front door of your physical center, and the other one. Now, with a woman, you put your right hand on your dantian with your left over the top. With men, you put your left hand with your right over the top. Now, how you remember which one this is, it's always the same thing. I always say it in my classes, woman are always right. 
yeah? So you put it on your hand, and they always laugh when I say that, and the left goes over the top, yeah? But I'm a man, so I'm going left and with right over the top, yeah? Good. So we sit in that position, keep our back nice and straight, and we're going to lower ourselves down. So when we lower ourselves down, we're going to keep our back straight. So when you lower yourself, just drop, go down. Go down as far as you can go without either sticking your bum out or without leaning forward. So you don't want to do this. Yeah, you want to just go straight down. Yeah. Now, some, if depending on how supple you are, you might only just get a little bit down about there and that's fine. It doesn't matter. It's more important to have your back straight than how far you go down. Yeah, so just bear that in mind. It's more important the backness. The back, that's an interesting word, the back straight. Yeah, pretty good. So we're going to bend down. As we bend down, we're going to breathe out and we're going to clear all the chi out and want all the stagnant chi out of our lungs. So breathe down. In through your nose. Hold your breath and stand up. So keep your breath held. And then as you breathe out. So as you breathe out, you're pulling your tummy in, breathing out. Pushes all the air out of your lungs. Keep breathing out. Get rid of all the energy out of your, out of your lungs. Keep going. And then slowly breathe in. Let your tummy relax. Good. Hold your breath and then stand back up again. Good. We'll do that again. So let all the energy, all the breath go out of your lungs. Feel like you're squashing your lungs to get every last little piece of energy out of there. Oh, that's it. And breathe in. Long, slow in breath. Tummy comes out. Good. Hold your breath. Stand up. Good. That's the second exercise. The third exercise is called opening and closing of the lower down to end. It's very similar. We lower our body down again. This time as we go down, we're going to bring our hands open and we're going to push the energy, the stagnant chi or the perverse chi out of the down to end. Yeah? So we're going to go from here, bending down, breathing out. And stay down. Stay in this posture and breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And then hands back on the dantian and stand back up. Cool. We're going to do the last two again. Actually, no, we'll do the whole, the whole lot again. So we'll do it in a, in a, a little bit quicker, especially with the stance, and we'll do the last part, the last two exercises the same. So remember, we start off with our feet facing towards the front, with standing on our kidney point, no weight on the heels. Toe is just slightly touching the ground, standing on the kidney point, Yong Tuan. Knees slightly bent, standing on your muscles. Now your legs will get a little bit sore because they're not used to this. The muscles and the, your calves will get a bit achy when you just stand on the front of them. That's okay. It just gets stronger and stronger, so it's fine. Bring your knees together. Bring your knees apart. Good. And then rest with your knees above your toes. In my mind, or in your mind, relax your ankles, relax your knees, relax your hips. Tuck your pelvis underneath. Remember, we're talking about tuck your, tuck your pelvis underneath and sit down. Yeah. Rest. Pull up your pelvic floor, your or puck your uranus, and then relax, which connects the do and the red my channel together. Relax, and then squeeze your genitals, and then relax. Good. Pull your tummy in, breathe out. Relax your stomach, breathe in. Good. Head string stretch. Feel like it's stretching up, breathing in, and breathing out. Very good. Bring your elbows forward, stretching your back. Bring your elbows back, stretching your chest. Good. Shoulders forward, stretching your, your scapula and shoulders back, stretching your pelvic across the front. And relax. Good. Holly your armpits, relax your elbows, relax your shoulders, relax your wrists. Holly your palms. I say it's like holding nothing in your hands, so your hands are empty. Yeah. Fingers facing towards the ground. Good. Then bring your chin slightly back, tongue on the roof of your mouth, lips slightly touching. Yeah. Looking but not looking at anything and hanging from your head string. Good. That's it. And just relax. Just take a breath, a breath in and just breathe out. Let the whole body just relax in that posture. And you feel like you've just been suspended in that posture. Very good. Now the exhaling and inhaling form, bring your hands around the dantian. Remembering men have their left hand with their right over the top. Women have their right with their left over the top. Bending down, breathing out. 
Breathe in. Hold your breath. Keep your breath held as you stand back up. Hold your breath and then breathe out again on the way down. Breathe in again. Hold your breath, stand up. Keep your breath held. Breathe out again on the way down. Breathe in again. Hold your breath. And then stand back up. Good. We're going to bend down the opening and closing of the lower dunt here. Bending down, breathing out. Don't go back up to the stage. Stay down, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. I'm going to keep your pelvis tucked underneath while you're doing this. Keep your back straight. Breathing out. Breathing in. Hands on your dantian. And then stand back up again. Good. And from there you can bring your hands down to the neutral position where your palms are facing towards the ground. Cool. Very good and well done. And so next week we're going to go into and we'll join that one up with the first exercise of the Bhagwan Jin and then we'll do the second exercise of the Bhagwan Jin as well. If you have any questions, please send me your emails or through Facebook, just send me a message on Facebook if you have any questions. It's been great to see you come and join me. I see who was, who was visiting us today. So, And I think Mandy's back on again. So hello, Mandy. And there was somebody else I saw before too. So welcome. Welcome to the class. I hope you enjoyed it. Mandy and I spend a lot of time doing these exercises in New Zealand. So it's lovely to see you online coming to join me. If you, I'm running a course here in Bali in the 19th, 22nd of uh, May, a uh, Sherba Sher course, it's five days long. And if you're interested in doing Qigong, come and have a holiday, especially if you're in New Zealand, because it's cold there and it's nice and hot here. Come out, and, come out and, and do a course with me sometime. I run courses and I've run teachers training as well here as well. Come and join me sometime. Have a look on my website and you'll see where the courses are. And come and do some Qigong with me. It's a great place to train here. And it's a, as they say, it's just beautiful and fine here. So have a beautiful day, a great night for the people that are in night times and some people during the day. And we'll see you next week and we'll do the Bhagwan Jin then. See you. Bye bye.